Hey, how's it going? You know, I just feel, uh, man, in urgency. And I don't know if you can feel it as well, but there's an urgency that we, we really must guard our hearts and do not allow anyone to steal our crown. We must keep our eyes fixed on Jesus Christ, especially in these final moments, because Man, it just, I I wish I could describe how I feel. You know, can it be that the Lord is ready to take us home? We definitely know that we are in the season. That is without a shadow of a doubt. Or can it be just a, uh, a major event or some marker or some sign? I don't know. However, we must be continuously on guard, continuously on watch, continuously have our eyes and our affections solely focused on Jesus Christ, not on this world, not on the lusts and desires of this flesh, but on Him alone. You know, Scripture tells us on several occasions, you know, those who will not enter in, and I'm constantly being told that I'm always kind of a a Debbie Downer about things. And what it is, it's a warning. You know, it's the love and mercy of Jesus Christ. We do know that Jesus Christ is all loving. And he wants everyone to be saved. However, there's criteria that must be met. You must totally trust and believe in him. You must confess your sins to him. Repent of your sins. You must give your life to him. In that trust and belief, having that faith in Him, that is what saves you. So I just want to encourage you with this. You know, can this be the final warning? I I don't know. But there is something ominous in the Spirit. Is it just that calm before the storm? I, I don't know. But I do know this, that everybody within the sound of my voice, please hear this message. If you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today, His arms are open wide. He is knocking on the door of your heart. Trust and believe in Him. Accept Him as Lord and Savior. Confess Him as Lord and Savior. Ask Him to baptize you with fire and the Holy Spirit. Invite Him to indwell you. When the Holy Spirit indwells you, He leads and guides you. He shows you the truth. He shows you the hidden meanings of his word if you truly search and believe and trust in him. We could be just mere moments away. Are you ready? Are you ready for him? If you were to pass from this earth right now, would you enter into his kingdom? I just want you to please sit back and and think about that. Think about that very word I just gave. Because we do know there's only two kingdoms. There's the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness. If you are not part of the kingdom of light, by default, you are automatically part of the kingdom of darkness. This is just how it is. There is no, there is no middle of the ground. There is no middle ground. As a matter of fact, Jesus has sent us a very stern warning that if you were lukewarm, if you were in the middle, that he will spit whoever that individual is from his mouth because it's not by our deeds that we are saved. It's trust and believe in him. And when you trust and believe in him, you show his example to the world. You show his love to the world. I hope this makes sense because... There's such confusion. The enemy wants to confuse people. He wants to send a, a, a confusion throughout the land. When those who are indwelt with the Holy Spirit know perfectly well exactly what I'm saying. We are in the final hours, the final moments of humanity. Please, hear this message. And if you... If you do know Jesus Christ, but your faith is elsewhere, your faith is in your religion, your faith is in 
what day of the week you go to church, or your faith is in your 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 pope or your your prophet or whatever it is. Please understand. All those things will be burned up. We must have total faith in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And you may be asking or telling yourself, well, uh, my, my church does believe in Jesus, but you know, but my prophet said this and my pope said this. And listen, we focus, we listen to no one but Jesus Christ. We don't listen to extra writings outside of the Word of God, outside of the Holy Scripture, outside of the Holy Bible. We do not listen to those. We listen to the Word of God only. I hope this makes sense because, again, confusion creeps in. Confusion overtakes people and then manipulates people. As a matter of fact, throughout all of the writings of Paul, he goes in detail about not to be deceived. Even Jesus Christ himself says not to be deceived. This message is a warning for those who do not know Jesus Christ, but this is also a blessing for those who do, who truly do, who truly follow Him, who are truly in love and waiting for Him, waiting for that time, for that appointed time that we as Christ followers call the harpazo, the catching away, the raptoro, the rapture. And again, again and again, many people, because they are under a delusion, do not believe in what the Word of God says. Again, they believe in the religion, they believe what their church told them, and they do not open up the Word of God and truly study. The catching away is the rapture of the church. And you must be screaming at the top of your lungs right now, rapture's not in the Bible. Well, the word Bible is not in the Bible. Focus on the event. The event is the catching away. To be caught up. To be harpazoed. To be harpazoed means to be taken, to be removed, to be snatched out of harm's way. And that is what Jesus Christ is going to do to those who follow him. Those who do not follow him will be left here and left behind. I hope this is clear. And again, this is a warning message, but also this is a blessing for those that follow Jesus Christ. Those who follow Jesus Christ are the wise virgins with their lamps full of oil, with their light shining brightly, waiting upon him. The foolish ones allowed their light to go out and their oil to run dry, stating that at one time they had oil, stating at one time they had light. Most of these will go into the tribulation, and you'll have one more chance. However, this will be the worst times throughout all of human history, Scripture tells us. You can bypass all that and enter directly into this kingdom by setting aside religion, by setting aside what mom and dad talked to, and opening up the Word of God and to truly trusting and believing in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. I don't know if this makes sense because there is so... Even these words just seem to anger people when it should bring them life because He loves you. He loves... He wants everyone to enter into His kingdom, but many refuse Him. Many refuse Jesus Christ. They've either turned their back on Him or they don't believe in Him or they completely just disobey and refuse Him. When He is knocking on the door of your heart, will you open that door? Run into His arms before it is too late. The kingdom is, is, is beyond blessing that I, my words cannot describe. But what is going to come to this world? Everything you see in front of me is going to be burned up. The world is tried by water in the great flood. The world be, will be tried by fire. I guess we'll call it the great fire. How about that? It will burn up everything you see in front of me right now. We are mystery Babylon. Babylon will be destroyed. Stop holding on to this world. You cannot dig a hole deep enough. You cannot store enough things because it will affect everybody. 
except those who are taken by their Lord and Savior into his kingdom, into the wedding feast. You have that opportunity right now. Please, today, fully trust and believe in Jesus Christ. When that trumpet sounds, it'll be too late. When Jesus Christ appears in the clouds, it'll be too late at that point. And if a cataclysm happens right at the taking, the snatching away, the harpazo, the rapture, if it happens right then and a cataclysm comes and you are still here without fully accepting Jesus Christ, you will die in your sin and you will end up in the worst place in existence, a place called hell, ultimately ending up in the lake of fire. You do not want to end up in the lake of fire. People joke about this. This is not a joking matter. I hope this message is understandable. But thanks be to our Lord and Savior. Thanks be to, to the Father in heaven that he loved us so much that he gave and sent his only son to rescue us, to save us. Even those who have passed before us, a dead in Christ, they'll rise first and then we who are alive and left will be caught up and removed from this place, taken into the wedding chamber, into the Father's kingdom. Today, please, hear this message. Fully trust and believe in Jesus Christ. Fully trust and believe that you will be taken. As a matter of fact, it even says, hey, pray that you're accounted worthy to escape all these things and to stand before the Son of Man. Jesus himself said that. Please today, I'm begging you, do not wait another minute. Right now, just lift your hands into the sky and cry out to Jesus Christ. All who call upon the name of Jesus Christ will be saved. Call upon him. Call upon Jesus Christ right now. Time is ticking down. The zero, we are at the zero hour right now. Oh gosh, people, please hear this message. I don't know what else to say. Don't play games with God. If you've taken the mark of the beast, please repent it. The mark of the beast is what everybody took over the past couple years. It is it. It is the mark. The mark is it. Do you understand? Repent. Please repent for taking it. I know people who were, call themselves from within the body of Christ who refuse to repent. They are literally fulfilling scripture in Revelation. They refuse. They repent not. Please hear this. Friends and family and loved ones, people just out in the world who are listening to this, if you've taken it, please repent. Ask the Lord Jesus Christ to restore you back to the way you were before you took it. Fully commit and surrender your life to him right now. Call him Lord. Call him Savior. Trust and believe in him. And you will be saved. Please don't go into the tribulation. You don't have to. Please do not end up in the lake of fire. You do not have to, but it's a choice. You choose if you go into the lake of fire. Jesus Christ is giving you. There's two doors. Jesus Christ is at, at one door with the door wide open. He's saying, come to me, my children. Come to me. Come to me. But other pe- but, but many just go through the other door. They just go to the door where there's flames. They just walk right into the flames. Today, please hear this message. Don't walk into the flames. Walk into the arms of Jesus Christ. He's waiting for you. Please, today. He loves you. He wants you with him forever. He does not want you to make the choice for the lake of fire, but that's a choice you must make for yourself. You choose glory and amazing beauty, or you choose the lake of fire. It's your choice. Choose wisely, my friends. I love you. It's in Jesus' name that I send this message and pray. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye-bye.